Hello, Mike. This is my sister. She's going to be presenting a poem to us on Thanksgiving Day. Well, it's not really Thanksgiving, but whatever. Here we go. Miss Wells. Snaps. All right. To me, I feel as though the greatest gift you can give someone is your words. So I wrote a poem to let y'all know how I feel. All right. <clears throat> I want to start off by saying I love you because those three words never come up enough. I want you to know that even though sometimes life gets rough, we still have each other. Some families are blessed to have positive men to idolize, but mine has strength. Women as strong as ten men, who know they must scrape up the rent because they can't depend on their men. Women who carry the world on their backs and life in their hands, willing to show you that it can't be done alone. Women who model the, fa the, the, the phrase army strong daily. Women who show you there's nothing cute about laying on your back and having a baby. So for that, I want to thank you. Thank you for being the man and the woman. Hey, Timmy, I still remember when you said close your mouth when you chew, and we don't eat with our elbows on the table. You taught me a lot of things that I will never forget. I look back with gratitude every time I reminisce. Hey, Kay, you told me that you don't have to have a man to conquer the world, but a plan and a plan that that will take you out of this black world. Mama, you taught me never to depend on a man because without you, we would have been so lost. Working day in and day out, showing us in our family who really is the boss. Keisha, I want to thank you for being the big sister most aren't blessed to have. Racing towards excellence and leaving haters in your path. Aunt Lois, thank you for teaching me God is always working. And you can't turn to him when you're hurting because he'll always be there. Mama, I want to thank you for being the model for all of us. Demonstrating how to be strong in the work till your back gives out for your family. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to work in a house for a racist white family. Mm -hmm. So basically I wrote this to thank y'all for being in my life and teaching me about God. I believe his, his image is in all your faces and your body is a facade. Like I said, I wrote this poem just to say thanks and I love you. Oh.